Hi folks, hi folks, it's good to be with you, love to everybody out there. I just want to make a quick video. Um, I want to just say this, I know it's going to shock everybody. Um, I've been reading the Quran, I've been reading the Hadiths. And I've got to say that as of today, I'm a street preacher, a Christian street preacher, but as of today, I've been read all the Hadith today and the Quran I know a lot of Christians are going to be crying and a lot of Muslims are going to be cheering no chance I won't become a Muslim no chance because I think Islam is false I think the Quran is not true I've been converted as a Christian many years ago and I will always be a Christian because Paul says I'm not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God unto salvation. I want to make this video just to say this, that uh, there's a lot of propaganda going on at Hyde Park where the Muslims fil film so-called Christians becoming Muslims. Okay? And all of it is fake. Number one, there are lots of intimidation going on by a lot of Muslims down at Hyde Park. Uh, look at the guy called Tan. Look at what happened to Sarah. Uh, there are a lot of people get intimidated physically by some Muslims down there, right? So that's something that a lot of people don't see, right? Secondly, blogging theology is uh, is a Muslim uh, website that is constantly being vindictive towards Hatum and um, her group, where they're calling them hate preachers and really being nasty and getting involved in some dodgy stuff behind the scenes, okay? These are things that people don't know that goes on at Hyde Park, okay? Uh, and some of the converts, so-called, are quite mentally unstable. One of them particularly threatened to punch me. Uh, he wears a, a thing over his head, uh, and the Muslim said, Oh, look at him, this is a convert from Christianity to Islam but the Muslim community down there actually took advantage of someone who had mental illness problems okay so this so-called uh, look at the Muslim look at these Christians becoming Muslims intimidation uh, behind the scenes blogging uh, being really really unkind and getting under getting involved in some dodgy stuff against Christians online and then uh, taking vulnerable people and saying that they become Christians when actually they've got mental health issues. This is the kind of stuff that's going on at Hyde Park. So when you see these videos that are, oh, a uh, Christian becomes a Muslim, uh, a lot of it's just fake at Hyde Park. It's just fake news. I'll give you an example. Um, the Muslims say, well, why don't the Muslims become Christians? Well, you have a law of apostasy. If someone in Arabia becomes a Christian from a Muslim community, they they can lose their life. And so if Christian if Muslims become Christians at Hyde Park publicly, they would they would be in danger of physical violence and even losing their life. You have an apostasy law in Sharia, Sharia law. So it's not a level level playing field. So when the Muslims are like, yeah, this, Muslim, this Christian guy's become a Muslim, this Christian girl's become a Muslim. There's a lot of stuff going on you don't know. You know, there's a lot of stuff. They're taking advantage of vulnerable people. And then there's the other issue of the... They won't debate our best debaters very often. They pick and choose who they debate, when they'll debate them. So Islam is not under the same intellectual scrutiny at Hyde Park than it is... Than Christianity. Christianity every week at Hyde Park is getting battered and battered. And the best debaters that uh, go down there are not allowed to defend the Christian faith. So Hamza will and, and Muhammad Hijab, they'll corner a young Christian and rip them apart. But if Godwin or Bob the Builder or I or any of the apologists turn up, they won't allow us to go and help that young Christian. So Christianity is getting battered and battered. Whereas Islam is protected, they won't debate us properly 
and they won't let us protect the young Christians down there that are getting taken apart sometimes by these more professional apologists. So there's a lot of double standards going on by the Dawa teams down there. Another example is a lot. sometimes the Dawa teams say, don't come near us, don't film us, which is ridiculous. But if you go down to Hyde Park, there's loads of cameras filming everybody. You go down to Hyde Park, you're filmed, okay? So like, those are some tactics that the uh, Dawa teams get up to. Oh, don't come near us and film us. So there's this constant uh, battle going on where they're trying to stop free speech, trying to stop Christians and other apologists of other faiths having their free speech while they constantly batter, not atheism, not Hinduism, but while they constantly batter Christianity. And that's the truth of it, folks. That's the reality of it. That's why Hyde Park is being used by the Muslims to take over Britain. They're using the videos, the Dawa videos, to take over Britain. And that's why I've tried to encourage teams to go down there, and I'll encourage people to go down there to debate the Muslims so that they don't take over Hyde Park, that there are different voices uh, and challenging Islam and challenging them because they're, they're doing double standards and, and they, they get up to some really dirty tactics. For example, I know for a fact that blogging theology has been involved in a systematic persecution against Hatum and their team, finding out where they worship and then causing trouble to Hatum and her team at their church. That's the kind of stuff the Dawa teams have been getting involved in behind the scenes. Okay, So there's intimidation uh, online, there's physical intimidation where some of the Dawa leaders actually have offered physical violence. I've, I've come under that, and others have. So that you have that, and then you have people telling you you can't film, you can't do this, you can't do that. Now, that's not all the Muslim apologists down there, and it's not all the Dawah teams, but a lot of it like that has gone on, and a lot of it is false, uh, and it's false make-believe, fake news, okay. So when they say that this person's become a Christian because they were, uh, uh, sorry, they've left uh, Christianity and they become a Muslim and all the rest, there's a lot of stuff going on at Hyde Park that you don't know, that you don't see, okay. They, the Muslims have all the best camera equipment, they're tooled up, there's loads of these Dawa teams go down there. This is one of their major propaganda machines in Britain today at Hyde Park. And they carefully manage, stage manage everything that goes down there. And anybody like me or Bob the Builder or anybody, uh, or Royal Blood Ministries like Mike, Mike's felt it as well, anybody who comes down there and goes down there, and desires to engage in a proper way, it's not easy to engage with them because they, they want to control everything. That's why I've been calling for today proper formal debates to show that the Muslims can't just control the flow of information, that there has to be a fair give and take. Uh, I, I don't know if they'll take that opportunity up, but they have to uh, if they want to show that they're actually fair in their debate and discussion. So there's a lot of dodgy stuff going on at Hyde Park. So don't take in this, or the this Chris, this Muslim has uh, this Christian has become a Muslim, uh, etc. There's a lot of taking advantage of vulnerable people, taking advantage of young Christians, uh, siphoning them off, getting them in a corner, getting a pack round them, and, and even taking advantage of vulnerable people, and then getting them to take the shahada and saying, "Oh look, this person has become a Christian." Uh, become a Muslim, when actual fact that person is vulnerable. These are the kind of things that are going on down there. I've seen it with my own eyes. I can pr provide the evidence. So don't listen to the Dawa team's uh, propaganda down there, okay? God bless you.